Hello everybody, I'm back again. Just wanted to do a quick little tutorial on these little um, pockets I made with the guest checks. Somebody left me a comment and asked me where was the tutorial. I, I did show it, but I never made a... Okay, I'm gonna ignore my daughter. <laughs> I'll call her later. But uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video to show you guys how I did it. Um, it's very simple. I got these, uh, actually my daughter was working a part time at a restaurant, My and this is my 20 year old daughter, and uh, she gave me this pack, so actually gave me two, but this is my last one, so, um, but if you guys are interested, Denise um, over at a, a Tattered Dream on Etsy, she sells them, so if anybody's interested in purchasing, purchasing any guest check tickets, you can go to her store, she has them there. So, I already cut one out, and all you have to do is, I just fold it, I don't measure it, but I'm gonna say about there. And then just press, like that. I think I did it. Oh no, this one's a little bigger. And then the little ticket part, you just fold it back down. And yeah, this one I, I folded it more than this one. But that's pretty much how you do it. And you would just, well I sewed this one. You don't have to sew. You can go ahead and use your glue for, for this video. I'm going to use my glue. And once it dries, I can go ahead and sew it if I want to, which I probably will because lately I'm, uh, I like to sew everything pretty much. And then here, I'm just going to add glue again to bring that flap down. So, there you go. So, that's all you do to it. Now... You can round the corners, you can leave it as is. I left mine as is, but I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. Um, I know there, uh, We Are Memory Keepers, I think, has a tab, I'm um, sorry, tag punch that I've been trying to get forever, and uh, the times I tried, they're out of stock. But, the way I have been doing it, and this is my, my, um, my, 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 my cutting board. All I do is I go to the two, I'm not dumb. there you go. I just go to the two and a half and I just line up this corner to the two and a half. And this corner that I need to cut, I either go to the second line or the, or three quarters out. So I'm going to do three quarters. So as long as my tip or my corner here is right on the two and a half, and this one is on three quarters going that way, you actually know because I don't want to cut the letter. So I'm going to go to the second to half. But usually I do go to the third, I mean three quarters on that side. But because I don't want to cut the letters, in fact, I don't know if I want to do it less. I don't want to cut the letters, but anyways, you cut it, flip it over, and you go again to the same mark, and you have an even, even cut. Now, I just saw recently on a, on a YouTube video that someone did some tags using the envelope punch. I do have this one. I've had it for a while, um, and I saw that somebody did it with this and that's what I used for these here and the way you do that let me see if I can remember because I only saw it one time and did it once but I guess I could do another one so all you do is you grab your card hold on let me think <laughs> I should have looked at the video again but um yes okay I remember well, I guess let me turn it around this way you line your edge here. Am I on frame? Yes. You line your edge. You see the little hole there? Or you're gonna put you're gonna line the this paper to right in the center. 
of, of this open space there. So, sorry, I'm gonna have to turn it this way. So once you center it to the center, then you punch, and you do the same to the other side, put it in the center, and you punch. And see, it does the little cut for you. So you can do that with tags as well. I saw that on a video and it works good, so I thought that was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, you could do it either or. The only difference is with the board punch, you get this little. If you could, with the paper trimmer, you get a straight cut, but with the board, you get this little loop there. I don't know if you guys could see that. See on this side too. But that's all you do, you just center it. I have another piece here. You just center it. You add your card or your tag and you center it. And I'm going to do it a little less so my loop won't be that big. And then you press. Slide it to the other side. Try to center it in the center and hit. See, I didn't do it right. But you guys get the the idea. And so then after that, you just go ahead and grab your little hole puncher. That's why I want the board because the board actually has to punch this and you know, you do the side. I mean, I usually do it with my board, but you know, spoil me wants the the board. <laughs> Because I'm a mess and I'm spoiled but yeah that's that's how you do it and you can just either round these or leave them as is but that's that's the way you do the where I do with it that's the way you do these and then you just add your little I don't know what do I have what do I have I don't have anything you just add your little and just put a little bow and there it is and well these are copy dyed so you would copy dyed yours or just distress it but that's, that's how you do those. So those are your two op options to cut the ends there. If you don't have one of those tag boards from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to pop in and do that. And since I'm on video, I thought I'd show you guys these. These are just show and tell. I showed them on uh, Instagram. I think they came out so cute. I'm thinking of putting them in my store. You know how I've been telling you guys I want to do like a... Well, I said kit. But I don't know um, if I... I want to do like a little batch of different tags and pockets out of my book pages and then decorating them and then just put them like a little bundle on my Etsy store. And then maybe a couple of envelopes different, decorated differently, you know, and um, again you know, selling them. It's, I'm thinking of doing that with these two. These are yellow. They were copy dyed. I did the same thing as like on my video. I took them apart, sewed the center, and then just glued them back. But I love the way they came out. So that's this one. And there's this one. And these are images that I printed out on photo pictures. I just went ahead and uh, fussy cut them. But I thought they came out so cute. So these will be going on my store. I just want to do a little insert for them. So I don't, I don't, uh, actually I don't think I've glued this one yet. Nope, I did not. But I want to um, do a little insert. I don't want to, you know, sell them just plain, just the envelope itself. So yeah, I'll be putting these in there. And then look, I was doing some tags too. Which that's another tutorial that will be coming up soon. Um, I'm working on my samples as you can see this is one of them <laughs> so stay tuned for that one but yes I just wanted to come in and, and do a little video to to share this um, pocket that I spoke about showed but never did a tutorial so <clears throat> there it is very simple very quick so thank you so much for watching guys you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you guys soon take care bye bye